just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows no limit. She craves attention. She praises an image. She prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't see the light that's shining deeper than the eyes can find it. Maybe we have made her blind, so she tries to cover up her pain and cut her woes away. Cause cover girls don't cry after their faces mate. Hi guys, so this is me getting ready to go out, do my makeup, all pretty, hair done, looking fab. Me, with no makeup on. Just the hair scraped back into a bubble and just chilling at home with my specs on <laughs> um, no makeup just me as I am um, for so many years so many years I felt like I didn't love myself um, I felt like I had to do everything to please everybody else and if somebody didn't like me it really bothered me really bothered me um, <clears throat> it's taken a lot for me to start being me. I'm 29 years old and I've literally only in the past few months started to love myself again. Um, I've suffered from mental health problems for about <clears throat> 14 years. This was about 15. Um, and it stemmed from a number of different things. Um, but mostly it was because people that I used to go to school with used to bully me. And I'd pass it off as a joke. I wouldn't let anybody see that it upset me. Only a couple of my closest friends ever knew how I really felt. Even to my parents, I didn't tell them anything. Um... I used to make out that I used to give as good as I got because I didn't want to feel like I'd let anybody down. But um, it's taken me a while to get to this stage, but I'm finally starting to appreciate myself and love myself. Well, maybe not love myself, but at least like myself a little bit more now. Um, and I just think that it's important to for anybody that feels the way that I felt. Um, I know there's loads of people out there that have at one point or another, male, female, um, that has felt like they have to be a certain way um, to get people to like them. Um, they have to do certain things, otherwise people will hang around with them. And to be honest, it's taken me this long to realise that you don't have to be like that. You don't have to be somebody else because when it gets to the point where you're doing everything to please everybody else and you're not doing anything for yourself, you do start to forget who you are. And especially with the media, and I know people mention the media so much, but... When with the media, with everyone that's airbrushed and contoured and, you know, always out there, like faces full of makeup, male and female, like when males go on TV and do films, they, they put makeup on. And then you see people like the paparazzi that um, sort of make fun of people, like celebrities, when they see them out with no makeup on and they've got spots or they're walking around in an oversized jumper and people laugh at them and think that it's funny and I don't feel like it is. I feel like it sort of feeds the insecurities that many people already have and I don't really think it's the best way for people to be. Um, like I said, it's taken me a long time to realise that you don't have to go out with a face full of makeup every day. You don't have to do things to please other people. 
And if people really like you and really care about you as a person, then it doesn't matter what you do, where you go, what your opinions are. People may not agree with you, but if they like you as a person, then they will still be your friend. They will still be around you. They'll still be in your life regardless. And I just wanted to basically do this post today because, especially recently, there's been so many people that I've seen and articles I've seen where people have felt like they haven't been able to speak to anybody and they've sadly taken their own lives and nobody should ever feel like that. Nobody should ever feel so closed off and so embarrassed about who they are and what they're thinking that they can't express themselves to the nearest and dearest that they can't say what they're thinking and how they're feeling. Think, when did it get to a point where saying that you're upset or saying that you need someone to talk to was a bad thing? I don't feel like anybody really should be put in a position where they, they don't feel like they can speak to anybody. And, I mean, I know I'm not perfect and I know I've got my flaws, I've got frizzy hair, <laughs> I've got I wear glasses, um, my eyebrows aren't perfect and I am not everybody's cup of tea and I just want people to who are out there who look up to all these models, not necessarily just models but anybody who um, is out there in the media or out there in the world thinking that it's okay to put other people down for being different or being who they want to be. That it's not okay. That you don't have to put on a front to to be cared about. Um, you don't have to put on a persona for people to like you. Um, if you're just yourself, then the people who really matter will stay in your life regardless. And I think it's important for especially young people these days who are growing up around a more, shall we say, superficial <laughs> um, environment um, that I think it's important for them to know that before anybody else can like you or appreciate you, you need to know who you are. You need to know yourself and you need to like yourself because... For so many years, I've pushed people away um, that I care about, like my family that I love, to pieces. Um, I've kept things from them. I've I've lost some people in my life or broken relationships um, with friends in my life when I just didn't like myself. And I just feel like if you... If you feel like that at all, if you feel like you can't be yourself, um, then just speak to somebody. Um, everybody deserves to love themselves. Everybody deserves to feel good about themselves with or without makeup, with or without designer clothes, with or without the attention of other people. Um, I just think that it is really important to encourage everybody that you know in your life to to love themselves and appreciate who they are because since doing that since really taking time out for me um and doing things that I want to do regardless of what people say about me or to me um I've I've been a lot happier in myself I was always scared of doing blogs um, being creative, putting my content out there in case people didn't like it, in case people made fun of me. I was scared of... I've always wanted to do something like a YouTube channel or just something where I can communicate with people and it's seen as a negative thing. And I was always worried about things like that. Whereas now, I'm, I'm not so worried. You will get your haters, you will get people who don't like your stuff who don't like your blogs, who don't like your content, who don't like your videos, who will troll you and be mean to you and just 
put the negativity out there because they can. But my piece of advice for anybody out there who is worried about things like that is just don't worry about it. Just, just remember that you are who you are and you shouldn't have to change for anybody. And basically it's just, I feel like, especially things like mental health, um, it's, it's seen as something that's really negative and you need to keep to yourself and you can't talk about it. And I personally feel that I was always I I was caught up in that and a lot of people, so many people I know and care about have been caught up in that in the past and everybody deserves to be happy. You know deep down a lot of us are good people and you know, you like I said you may not be everyone's cup of tea but in the end, at the end of the day, do you really want to be around someone who doesn't actually like you for you, who doesn't actually want to be around the real you? Do you really want to be around people like that? Where you have to just play a part every single day and you don't feel like you can speak your mind, that you're walking in eggshells all the time. It's no way to live. So, <clears throat> yeah, basically I just want to... just to put this out there today um, and just 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 to try and help people a little bit um, even if this just helps one person then I will be happy about that because nobody should go through life ever thinking they're alone um, if you feel down about yourself if you feel like you can't talk to anybody then just Take, get somebody close to you, somebody you trust, um, and and just talk to somebody. And just keep the people around you that care about you and that love you and that want you in their lives and that appreciate you as a person because at the end of the day, they are the people that we need and that we should want in our lives. And, yeah, basically, that's just me. <laughs> um... I know it's quite a serious post and it's not your whole, you know, comedy sketch type thing and um, again, that's not really my thing. So I'm just being me and just sharing my thoughts with you today. So just go out there into the world. If you want to be creative, be creative. If you don't want to be creative, don't be creative. Just do what you want to do and be who you want to be and everything else should hopefully fall into place and when things go wrong pick yourself up dust yourself off learn from your mistakes don't beat yourself up about it you know people make mistakes we are all human um but just learn from them and grow as a person and you know eventually you'll realize that those little people those trolls those haters they don't matter anymore they're, they're nothing to you they can't hurt you. They, it's all just words. And maybe they they feel a bit better about themselves by doing that. But what does that make them? You know, you know what kind of person does that make them? That they feel happy and proud of themselves by bringing other people down and making other people feel bad about themselves. Um, just try and think of it that way. Just people say things about me all the time. People have always said bad things about me and I used to really let it get to me. But, you know, as I said, it's... Maybe it's my age, being nearly 30, I'm getting old. Um, or maybe it's just the fact that I've just started doing things that, I'm, that make me happy and being with people that make me happy that's made me realise this, but... You know, for the first time in a very long time, I am honestly happy. And, you know, it's the best feeling in the world to just feel happy about yourself and feel good about yourself. And just being yourself is just the best way to be. And you don't have to play a character. You don't have to play a role. And to all of my subscribers or just to anybody who's watching this, you don't even have to be a subscriber. Anyone who watches this, 
Um, just love yourself, appreciate yourself, take care of yourself. And if people don't like it, then, you know, fuck the haters, to be fair. Just brush it off, move on. And you be you, because as RuPaul would say, if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Because, as RuPaul would say, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? Because that really does make sense. I never used to think that before, but it actually does make a lot of sense. So, first of all, love yourself, and everything else will eventually fall into place, and all will be well with the world. Well, your world anyway. <laughs> So, um, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, hit the like button, and if you do like this video, and you feel like you want to see more, not necessarily of this content, but, um, just press the subscribe button, and I will link all my social media in the description box down below, and I will also link to my blog. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to speak to anybody who wants to speak to me. Okay.